Hey guys, this is day one of lifting weights until I get a girlfriend and you, I have a new trainer. You might recognize him. Kevin, my yeah. friend, you called me and you said you wanted to get buff so you can get a girlfriend. Yes. Tell me about this. Uh, the fact, I haven't lifted weights in a while, so. You, you used to lift weights? Yeah. Okay. In college a little bit, but you know, hey, it's not really that great anymore because I don't go to college. And, well, you know, that takes a toll on you after a while. So you dropped out of college. Yep. You, you lost all your buffness. Yep. And you don't have a girlfriend. Yep. What's it like being single? Uh, uh, I can really just not really care at the moment. But, you know, it gets to wear on you for a while. I hear um, you. And that's why you want to get buff. Yeah. And I like your shirt. Oh, with thank that you. SBSK. Not sponsored, but you yeah, know. I, I like your shirt. Yeah. We're kind of the same Actually, color. We are the same color. It's just the different logo. All right. So you called me. You want to get buff so you can get a yeah. girlfriend. What muscle group should we work on first? Up to you. Up to me? Yeah. Okay. Well, we could always do a little bit of chest with the bench press. Yeah. You don't want to be one of those guys who, who ignores the legs, though. Yeah. That's for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Because it's not really, it's interesting because some people have different views on it and some people just go way overboard the first day or... You don't want to go way overboard, you can't even move the next day. Yeah, well... But Kev, if, if your main goal is to attract girls, you could do some curls for the girls. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So let's go over here to the dumbbells. We have the 5 pound, the 10 pound, 20, 15, 45, or 35. What do you think we should start at with? Probably the 10. The 10? Yeah. Okay. So you start down yeah. here. And then... You just do a little curl. Like this? Yeah, you want to make sure you're not lifting with your back though. You want to isolate the arm, the bicep. Yeah. And just go that. up. Yeah. <sighs> uh, yeah. Um, you should check your phone, see if you got any text messages from any girls. Nope. Not yet? No. Okay. Well then, maybe we should go to the 15 pounder. Maybe. No, it's very important not to sway your back when you yeah. do it. Because you don't want to throw out your back. Touche. So, Look at me, my yeah. back is still, so, I do and it and I'm not moving my back. Yeah. So a sign that this is too much weight is if your back moves. Yep. So try to do it with just your arm. That's good. It's, is it a little too much? No, it's a little too little. Oh man. It's, uh, after a while, your arm gets a little sore. And your, your back's going a little bit. Yeah. But that was a 15. I would be surprised if your phone wasn't blowing up with text I, messages I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, there's about 50. 50? What do they say? Uh, how are you? Wow, there we go. Yeah, so. What is, what is the best thing and the worst thing about being single? Uh, worst thing is that you don't have someone to care about and the best thing is, you can actually live your life how you want, instead of, you know, taking care of someone That's constantly, true. like you do when you're 80. Now, to if you get my joke, I, I, I get your drift. Uh, to end the video, why don't we do a little bench press over here? Sure. I was thinking I could spot you, and we could do the bar with no weight. Yeah. Does that sound good? Sure. Let's do it. Okay. Do you know anything about form? Do you want me uh, to teach you? Sure. You could do it. Okay, I'll do it, and then you can do it. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you sit down here. You lay on the bench, and you want to you want to get your arms in the same position. So there's a little, come over here. There's. You see this little thing right here? Yeah, the little line. I, put, I always put my pinky right there, and there's one over here too. Yeah. I put my pinky there so you know you're lined up. Yeah. And you lift it up. It's actually a bit heavy with just the bar. I think the bar's 45 yeah. pounds. 
Somewhere. And you want to go slow down. And then slow up. Right above your chest. You can even tap your chest a little bit. Yeah. And then, not slow up, you kind of explode up. Yeah. And if you want to do it correctly, you're going to breathe when you're going down. And breathe out when you're going up. Yeah. You do yeah. that? Yeah. You'll have a date by the end of the week. And ironically, this is what I do every day at my old job is because I used to push carts constantly that probably weighed somewhere around that here. When you worked at the grocery store? Yeah. Here, so you lay down and I'll help you get this up. Okay. Watch your head. Go. Okay. okay. So, All right. you got your arms evenly positioned? Is it grocery? I can't see the line. Right here. And there? Right, right here. I'm okay. pointing to the line on each side. Okay. So, boom, boom. That? Yep. And make sure your body's even, your legs are even. There you go. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna spot you. So make sure to go to your chest. There you go. Really good. See if you can get five. One, two, three, four, last one, five. How do you feel? Good. Surprised. Why are you surprised? I do that because I haven't done that in forever, much less, you yep. know, weight or anything. So, yeah, I'm glad to see you. And I, I want to give you a profound piece of uh, advice before we end our gym session. When you're working out muscles to attract a girlfriend, don't forget the most important muscle of all. The heart. Yeah, okay. That's definitely what keeps you going, literally and figuratively. Do you have any questions for me about our gym session? No, I don't think. Do you feel like this is something you can do and keep up with? Yeah. Yeah, so have a great day and we'll see you on the flip side.